of all, I would like to welcome uh, the Austrian representatives Lumix and Pia Maria. Hello, how are you? Hello, Hi. thanks. For us. We are super good. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> it's good to hear. Uh, how how is about the excitement for, for the upcoming weeks and days? So uh, we had a few Eurovision pre parties, which were amazing. Uh, we got the feeling, you know, it's a bubble and you get into it, you need some time to warm up and get the feeling. And it was amazing. We enjoyed every single show. The people were crazy. They sang along, they took pictures. We enjoyed it and we can't wait for Torino. Mm. Yeah, it's not like nervous or something. It's, I can't wait for it, you know? <laughs> Excitement. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, good to hear. And I hope um, this will uh, assist you all the, all, the, all the upcoming weeks and days. Um, Uh, and give you good vibrations for for Doreen. Um, uh, do you have um, um, some experience with former Eurovision songs? Did you listen to this kind of music when you were younger? Did you follow Eurovision? Could you tell us? Yeah, I mean, uh, Eurovision is a is not, if not the biggest uh, music contest. And being a musician, you always watch and follow it. Um, If you ask me one particular song from the past, even though I'm very young, I would go for probably Anna, uh, Abba, not Anna, oh. or, or Boney <laughs> M. So I always enjoyed listening to the music. I think it's a great contest and I think uh, it's a great opportunity as well for us. A lot yeah, of I also, in, in, in the Euros. <laughs> I also watched as a child. So I'm into it since I don't know. And if you ask me for a song, it's. Um, Dina Meyer Landwood satellite. So oh. it's still in my head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good to know. Um, and uh, you guys are two independent musicians. Uh, Pierre, you're a, a singer mainly. And uh, Luca, is, this is your real name, is a, a music producer or kind of yeah. DJ, uh, whatever, or kind of combination. So, how did you, did you guys find together uh, to, to make this project Lumix with? Uh, and Pia Maria. So uh, we had the original demo, which was sung by an external singer, not Austrian in this case. And uh, we needed an Austrian singer for the Austrian representative of Eurovision. And it was a pretty hard song, you know, to sing. You need a lot of power. And uh, we figured out Pia for the for the demo. And we ended up liking it so much uh, that we said, let's do this together. Oh, wow. So are you also planning to work together after the Eurovision Song Contest? When so um, it's nothing safe yet. So maybe we will find something new and, you know, just jam together and there will be a nice song, but nothing official yet. So we just will see what the future holds. Exactly. Mm. How would you describe your music style? I, I know, of course, uh, that uh, Lumix, you're uh, into electronic music and uh, but Pia, I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> yeah, um, I am into that also, but normally I really like to express my emotions through songs, like even in an emotional way. So like mm, ballads or even sad songs, you know, like just what my mood is and what I feel right now. There's not really a straight point I want to go. There are so many because in my brain there's so many and I want to, I just want to have the flow and put out what comes out you know so i, I don't want to be straight and say i only want to do this so i have so many things and so many thoughts in my head i can i can make everything <laughs> yeah do you want to say something luca or no it's yeah, already said uh, with electronic uh, i do like electronic music i think for this one we did a great mixture of yeah. pop -ish kind of sounds and still the lumix original production touch in it so we have a, a great combination i think perfectly fitted and suited for the eurovision sound contest and uh, i will keep on releasing my own stuff of course i will probably take a little cut into the more radio friendly direction after eurovision and uh, yeah stay excited i have lots of songs to come yeah the music uh, the kind of music uh, which are going to be shown in the eurovision song contest are always very different and uh We can uh, show that, or it can show, can be shown that um, also rock music from Moneskin, for example, can be a huge success, mm -hmm. and uh, and so it's open for all kinds of 
uh, genres, I would say. Yeah, um, that's true. That's the cool thing about Eurovision, you know, you have diversity in every way, uh, not just musically, but also the people. Mm-hmm. And this is what makes this contest so interesting for me, to be honest. Yeah. Same Did you here. meet some of the other singers so far in the, the pre parties? Yeah. Nearly all of them. And, uh, they're super nice. We already had some great connections. And uh, I think this uh, relationship with them will last longer than Eurovision. So that's a cool thing. Yeah. Austria is quite successful, especially when, when uh, Conchita Wurst won uh, in 2014 with Rise Like a Phoenix. Um, uh, all the eyes were on Austria uh, and that, that year and the year after when, when the contest was in, in Vienna. So do you think uh, you can uh, bring back the contest to, to Austria? Absolutely. That's uh, the goal we're aiming for. Of course, it's a competition and uh, we're trying our best to, to win the competition. Uh, we know it's a hard a tough year this year with uh, all the political stuff going on uh, with a lot of other strong countries with good songs. Um, but in the end, it's a competition where we're trying to aim for the best for the win. And uh, I think the song has got what it takes to to win this competition. So we're optimistic to bring it back to Vienna next year. Yeah, wow. that's true. <laughs> the, bets, the bets, you're quite high. I think um, it's not so, it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, your song is one of uh, the more favorized songs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, talking about your song Hello, uh, written with one L only. Uh, Halo. Maybe... Halo. Halo. Halo, yeah. So maybe you can mm-hmm. tell us uh, the story behind this. Uh, well, Halo is uh, originated um, as, a, as a party song in terms of good vibes, good energy, making, you know, the people dance and make them happy because we have some some tough times behind us and probably ahead of us because COVID is still not over. And uh, we just wanted to bring joy to everyone out there yeah. who's watching uh, the Eurovision Song Contest and who's generally listening to our song. And I think we nailed that pretty good since uh, the reaction was pretty positive so far. And we're super happy that uh, our idea to spread happiness with this song is uh, decently working out so that people do understand the message and uh, that that makes me super happy yeah and it it gives me a power it's like i don't know i've heard it like so many times the song but still there's so much energy in it that even me is like oh, <laughs> i don't know i really love the power of the song and it also gives me a lot of it and uh, Luca, you also have italian roots so will you be happy to 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 uh, show it in Italy or to come back to Italy somehow. Yes, it, uh, it makes the contest even more special for me because I've lived in Torino for a few months, eight months. Oh. And it was the first city I moved to after turning 18, like the week after I went there and I got a lot of friends there. I love the city. I love the vibe. And it's uh, super helpful because we don't, we don't go to a place like a foreign place, but we go somewhere that we actually feel comfortable to be in and that makes it so much easier to you know get the vibe and get comfortable uh you know being there performing there and doing everything that has to so do with it so you can show peer and the team uh the entire city i will, I will. Wow. that's good <laughs> what are your expectations from Turin in general or in italy this year i think uh, they're gonna have a pretty sick stage and uh nice vibe i know the turin people are super open and happy about uh the song contest uh, they put uh, the mole is the main site of turino and they put a big timer to eurovision on it so you can see it from hundreds of kilometers away no, not that much but you can see it from far away and it gives this positive vibe that the people there want us to be there you know that makes it even cooler because mm-hmm. you don't have to go somewhere where you're not sure or not safe and in this case, it's yeah. not like this. it's the total opposite. You know, they're going to love it. And uh, that makes me even more excited about it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I can't wait to be there then. <laughs> yeah, and it, it filled arena and, uh, well, more than 200 million expected uh, uh, viewers yes. on TV screens. And, uh, but you're used to these high numbers, uh, Luca. You had a lot of streams uh, with your song Thunder the past so maybe you can get a lot of more fans i hope so yeah it's not just fun <laughs> rock, but it uh, went pretty good so far i'm so happy and i'm so happy to bring this you know also on the stage because it's a uh, it's the dj image it's the electronic music that is uh, 
up and coming and I think I could also be a representative of that genre and I feel that role and I will try my best to you know clear the image and uh, get the, the word spread about uh, this industry. Yeah, great. Uh, maybe you can uh, tell our viewers your last words, what would you like to share, what should they know about you? Yeah, well, uh, I started this whole thing basically with my song called Monster. It was uh, released on Spinning Records 2019 and has ever since gained more than uh, 300 million views across all platforms, multiple golden platinum records. And uh, it started for me like this and I got into a contract and I started releasing more music and I'm so excited about every single record. So I couldn't even point out one, uh, but maybe Thunder is uh, worth mentioning since it has a similar success to Monster with also over 300 million streams now uh, in total. And um, yeah, I'm excited for what's to come. I have uh, lots of music in store as I already mentioned earlier and uh, that's the way I want to go. Yeah, it's amazing. Pia, anything to say? <laughs> I can't wait to perform there then and to have you all with me, guys. I mean, it's amazing that I can, can be part of something like this. I couldn't imagine something better. So, like, I will do my best, everything I can, and I hope you guys will love it. They will. Thank you so much, Pia, Maria, and Lumix. Um, Thank you. We cross the fingers for you and uh, enjoy the time. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you also for the podcast.